Cristiano Ronaldo can make his debut for Manchester United against Newcastle. But the question in everyone's mind is how is he going to fit into this Manchester United side? Also, people are debating already whether he's even going to listen to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in the first place. Another news is Ozil is unhappy just after a few months in Fanabache. Obama Young's replacement has been found, people. Welcome to the Blunt Planet where I speak my mind and you can say yours. Are you guys ready? I am ready. Let's get right into it. Pa -pa. Apart from the fact that Ronaldo has broken the shirt sales record, we all know that this move is not for him to sit on the bench. But the question in a lot of people's minds, and which has been debated right now in America on ESPN, is is he even gonna listen to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and how is he gonna fit in to the Manchester United squad? Let's have a look at the tidbits of what the guys in the studio have been saying. Um where what would you do with Cristiano? With Gav, you know, Gav has this theory that Cristiano has to play in the front two. That's where mm -hmm. he played 80%, although Augie saw him with Portugal on his own up front, mm -hmm. so he can still do that, of course. But Gab has this idea that to get the best out of Cristiano, you have to play two up front. He has to play with the Morata or with the Dybala like he did at Juventus. But he's not somebody that combines with other players. Mm -hmm. Even when he had Higuain playing up front with him, Higuain was always looking for Ronaldo. Ronaldo never looked for Higuain. Yeah. Dybala and Ronaldo never played little one-twos with each other. It's not like when you see uh, Inter last season and Lukaku and Martinez are playing yeah, yeah, yeah. with each other all the time. Ronaldo doesn't want to join in with anybody else. He wants to be the individual. And I know Oggy doesn't agree with me, but I would play him as the centre forward and I'd play with two wide players at tucking field from, yeah. from, you know, whether it be Sancho and Greenwood, uh, Martial and, and Sancho, whoever it may be. And then I'd play three central midfield players okay. because his main attribute now is his aerial ability. Getting on the end of cross. He's not yeah, going to yeah. run past anybody with no, the ball. If he goes I out wide, he's not going to beat anybody. He'll come inside on his right foot and try and shoot. But his main advantage or, or his main attribute is winning balls in the air and being clever around the box to buy himself that little bit of space to get shots away. The guys also went on to say that he is not going to be listening to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's tactics. I don't know what you guys feel about that, but just have a look. Both of you, we saw those photos mm. of him and Sasha mm. talking and, and all of that. And I, I don't think we know, Oggy, what Sasha told him or mm. what they discussed, or whatever. I guess it was a bit of this is what we do, you know, this is this is the situation now. But if you're Cristiano, do you do you listen and you go, you know, for, for now, put me wherever you want and I will adapt, you know, this is this is a new team, you, you you've been here for a while now, mm. the team is used to you and playing a certain way. Or you said to him, listen, you know, I need to play there and if the cross arrives or mm -hmm. if if you build a team around me, I'm going to score. I, I don't think Ronaldo will, will tailor his game to any coach's tactical plan. I, I think it's, it is what Ronaldo wants, Ronaldo does. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a good thing if it works. But I, I don't think he will, if Solskjaer asks him to do a particular job, I don't think he'll do it. I think he might mm -hmm. do it for five minutes and then think, no, forget this, I'll just do what I normally do. I, I don't think any coach since the early days of his time at United, that said, I kind of agree with Ronaldo in terms of what he does. You know, throughout his time at Real Madrid, he just did what he wanted. And he did it very well. Because you, you, you make allowances for players that do that. If, if they score so many goals and make such a difference and get the big goals and, and, and change games, you, you do basically accept that you have to just let them do their thing. Hey, we all know that Ronaldo is a person that is going to be very difficult to coach in the sense that he can do anything he wants and he's going to deliver. So. Rest in peace, Olegana Soja. I wish you best of luck with that. Moving on to Arsenal news. Obama replacement has been found. His name is Yusuf N. Nesri. He's a 24-year-old that plays for Sevilla. He scored 18 goals in 38 appearances last season. And this season, already in three matches, he scored two goals and given one assist. He's 24-year-old, he's Moroccan, and I'm hearing that West Ham wants to spoil the party. I don't know how that is a good news for the Arsenal faithfuls. But West Ham wants someone that is going to partner Antonio up front and this guy looks like the real deal. I don't know what Arsenal fans feel about this news, but I want to hear your comments below. Please and please let me know what you think about this guy. Mesut Ozil is unhappy people just 8 months after his transfer from Arsenal to Fenerbahce. 
a dream club that we all know Ozil says he loves. But right now, we're hearing rumors that Vito Pereira, the coach of Fenerbahce, doesn't have full trust in Mesut Ozil. In fact, in the Europa League qualification, the coach preferred a 20-year-old Mohamed Gumuskaya instead of Ozil in the two legs. And people are also fueling the rumor because they've actually seen Ozil meeting with one of the sheikhs in Qatar, which is also <laughs> indicating that he is going to be moving either to the MLS or Qatar. We don't know how true this is, but this doesn't really, really look good for Ozil. As a matter of fact, this season he started one game, he's been on the bench for another game, and then he got injured. And the rumors is that there was a rift and a fallout between himself and the coach even before he got injured. I don't know what you guys feel about this, but your comment below, please. Aaron Ramsdale has told friends he may be starting against Norwich. I don't know how true this is again, but listen, that is the rumors on the papers. The claim that he has told his friends that he's going to be getting a nod ahead of Leno this weekend. I don't know what Arsenal fans feel about this. If we go back to the 6-0 win against West Brom, um, Ateta simply said this guy is very comfortable on the ball and he's glad for him. Maybe that's an indication that he prefers him to Leno because he's very good on the ball. I don't know. I don't want to jump into conclusions. I am just giving you guys the news and telling you guys what I've heard. But what do you guys feel about the possibility of Aaron Ramsdale starting ahead of Leno? Let me get your comments below, people. That's it from me today, people. It's your boy here, the Blunt Pony Lovers. If you love us, haters, if you hate us, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon as well. Please. Thank you very much, people. I'll be talking to you guys pretty, pretty soon. Take care. Bye. Hello, guys. I'm really glad you enjoyed that video. And one more thing you have to do for me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, please. And while you subscribe, make sure you click the bell icon as well, not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. <laughs>